Hello guys, how's it going? We're gonna see how this later in the day works for you guys. Because Probably it works well. it works a whole lot better for us. Well, like the East Coast people are probably zonked out by now. Yeah. But we might get uh, more people from uh, where? I don't know. It's rough because I actually want to get up earlier in the morning, but because our, we work nights, we just, we don't get out of bed till 10, so like having the live at 11 is really rough for us. Well, we got up at 11 today. Yeah. So, just having oh. that couple hours. Hi, Kat. Lynn. I saw Lynn in there. I'm going to stop by this family mart real quick. I got to grab a pack of masks. Uh, I don't know they don't. And probably some hand sanitizer. Lou, Bernard, Joe, hey guys. I will be right yeah. back. Am I just staying here? So, unless you have a mask. Man, it was such a strong connection and then we lost it. San Jose. Hey, Paul. Now we're awake, Indiana. Nice. Yeah, this late, uh, you worked at Family Mart? Oh, wow. Gina, good afternoon. <laughs> yeah, this time works a lot better for us. Uh, we're thinking about changing the time of this thing because I know as much as it's uh, typically better for people the earlier we was saying, because like Kit was saying, we do work uh, nights, overnights, so to change our schedule just during the weekend is hard. But this time, like instead of just getting up earlier than normal and rushing out of the house and not really getting anything done. Today, we kind of got everything done, woke up at the right time, and now we're like way more energetic and ready for this adventure. We're like much more excited to go outside now that, you know, we've had our coffee, even though none of us drink coffee. But you know, we had breakfast, time to relax, get ready. <laughs> yeah, Gina and Ray. Yeah, I wasn't really worried about you guys in Hawaii. Um, let's see. Convenience stores I know haven't been... Uh, in Okinawa, like that long, maybe like 25 years. Keeps trying to reconnect. I know a lot of you watching uh, were here before there were any convenience stores. But if you do know the convenience stores in Okinawa, which is your favorite? This is a Family Mart. Family Mart and Lawson's have been around for like 25 years, but 7-Eleven just got here uh, on July 11th, 2019, but now they're kind of all over the place. Fammy. Family Mart. Yep. That's what Kit and I feel like too. Uh, so we'll get going here in a little bit. Oh yeah. Lawson's Hot Spa Family Mart. Yeah. Hot Spa. Uh, Coco, they changed to Coco. Yeah, they're, they're gone though. Didn't have any when I was there. Yep. That's what I figured. I know some of you probably never experienced the convenience stores. Here comes Kit. I'm reading your comments on here. Oh, sorry. Okay, I got you a bigger size mask. It oh. says Okime. Ah, nice. Hi y'all, when I was there, there was Family Mart and Lawson's. I was Team Family Mart all the way. Yeah. 
I've been think rethinking about that shirt, but I don't know. Hello from Korea. Miss Lawson's and was able to practically get anything and affordable. Yeah. Actually, convenience stores nowadays are actually a little bit pricey. Mm. By the way, drinking a milk tea, it's starting to become more UCC teas because we have a UCC vending machine in front of our house. So, <laughs> even though on my ranking Lynn. <laughs> milk tea video, it came up as third best. You know what? I was actually having a hard time sleeping. I really w I'm a very finicky sleeper. I don't sleep easily very well. And so, when I change anything in my sleeping pattern, it like disrupts it. So, I had a hard time sleeping with my new blanket because I'm not used to it. This one's not updating. Let me like reclose Facebook and open it again or something. All right, so we are going on a drive. Sorry guys, I had to stop and get some masks because we're going to the farmer's market with you guys later and we didn't have masks. So I went and stopped and got some masks. Also, my hands are getting so dry from just the alcohol. Oh yeah? So I got some hand gel. No convenience stores 34 years ago. Do you already have lunch before you drive? Yeah, yeah uh, kind of. We had yeah, kimchi we had and rice. Kimchi and rice. Which is our poor man's meal. <laughs> <laughs> Hello from Texas. Was there 83 to 84? Is it cold there? Yes. I mentioned it on my YouTube video yesterday. I took a bath. Yeah. But uh, it's actually these last few days these last couple weeks have been like the coldest Okinawa has seen in like the last 15 years or something. It got down, I think the coldest it got down to was like 45 degrees. It was pretty cold. It was raining, it was Yeah, cold. 45 degrees Fahrenheit in Okinawa. Yeah. Can you imagine that? Well, believe it or not, most I don't know if most people know this, but in the 70s and as well as 2016, Okinawa actually has snow on record. Mm. Okinawa has snowed a couple times. And it doesn't happen often, but it... I'm looking on this one and there's like, it's... So today's just gonna be an easy day. We're gonna take our loop around Kadena. Not inside, because we can't get inside, but we're just gonna loop around it and then we're gonna end up at a farmer's market because I need to get veggies. Ray thought you went to the bathroom. I can um, flip you guys around. Ray! <laughs> show you guys where we're at. He knows you really well. <laughs> I know he watches me every day. <laughs> All right, let me know how the view is. Had some trouble commenting on updates on my phone last week. Yeah, 82 to 86, my dad got extended a year. Yeah, this is not. Just uh, exit and go, sit, come back in. <coughs> Close the app all the way. I've done that like three times. Maybe restart my phone. <laughs> I think it's Facebook. Happy, thank you. It was my birthday. I. Uh... It was, uh, wait, when was it? It was Friday. January 8th is my birthday. It's obviously, it's always going to be a two-day event. So we did January 8th and January 9th because I celebrate my birthday until Hawaii strikes midnight. Huh. It was good. I turned 32, so I am a big woman child. What? Woman child. <laughs> okay. Like man child, woman child. 24 in New York. I got a 45 is crazy. It was, great. it was cold in the winter of 80. High from Oregon. Coldest we saw was 82 to 85. Was 48 degrees. Yeah, it does get That's cold. That's pretty cold. It does get cold. St. Louis, love watching you guys. Thank you. I January wanna... 2016th, flew in Naha. It was in the 30s. Oh, really? I want to thank especially the East Coast side people. I'm sorry that we started late. Um, we're testing out this time slot because Matt and I have, because we work nights, oftentimes we don't get off till midnight or what, you know. So when we go to bed and everything is late, so we don't get up till about 10 or 11. So doing the live at 11 actually has been really straining on us. So we're trying to see if we can push back. Yeah, the, a few start, more hours. Yeah, start time to like at least one so that it gives us like 
time after we wake up to kind of settle down, get ready for the day. Because we used to have to like rush out the door. Sometimes there'd be times where we're like, crap, we gotta go. And it's not a good way to start the morning, so. <laughs> Hello from Taiwan, Miss Oki a lot. Oh, wow. Hello, July. July. I have my, one That's of my, cool. one of my good friends, good, not good friends, but my, one of my friends. I miss Taiwan. <laughs> yeah, I miss Taiwan. <laughs> Taiwan has some of the best food, oh my gosh. That's kind of true for a lot of Asian countries, I feel Asian, like. Asians have great food. I'm not gonna lie. Thai, I miss Thai. I miss Malaysia. I miss, uh, I miss Taiwan. <laughs> I always wanted to eat Vietnam, Vietnamese in Vietnam. My son was born in 86 March. It was the 30s. We had to buy a heater. That allowed us to go from Camp oh. Lester Hospital. Wow. Camp Lester. I was born on, uh, I was... I was born in Leicester Hospital in 89. Roughly our age. We're 89 babies. Yep. Better cold than hot. You're right, I, Sandra. I agree with that so much. I actually... Cold is know, great. You know how people get seasonal depression when it gets cold? I actually get seasonal depression in the summertime because I actually thrive better in the cold than I do in the heat, which is funny that I live on an island. But that's one of the things Matt and I were talking about was one day when we ha we can afford it, we like to get a house maybe up in like the northern Japan, like Hokkaido or some area, so we could yep we could uh, fly opposite of the birds and <laughs> enjoy the cold in the winter time, snow skis and shit like that. Well, oh, sorry, I forgot I'm not supposed to cuss on the live. So here's a question. If we went somewhere else, how many of you would keep watching? Like Hokkaido or something. So, we're gonna, so we've been talking a lot. Not that that's happening anytime yeah, soon, yeah, yeah. but. So we've been talking a lot about what we wanna do for Live in Okinawa, cause we're, we've been doing this for a year. Um, we've been doing this live in Okinawa for a year. But as the borders start opening up, which isn't obviously happening yet, Matt and I are going to be traveling a lot more because that's one of the things we like to do. We like going to Southeast Asia. We like going to Hokkaido. So eventually we were slowly thinking about segueing this, this live into maybe like the Kit and Matt show or like travel with Kit and Matt or the travel kit. Hey! The travel kit? <laughs> the travel kit live. That would be good. But travel kit live with Matt. <laughs> I don't know. But anyways, we were trying, we were thinking about doing Matt's travel kit. Oh yeah, Matt's travel <laughs> kit. <laughs> but we were thinking about doing that because, you know, I think doing, doing Okinawa every week has been a lot of fun, but eventually we are going to not be able to do that every every Sunday when we especially when we start traveling so we were thinking about ways we can improve it we were thinking about maybe doing podcasts maybe we were thinking about doing you know like other type of content as well so just let me let us know what you guys think mm -hmm. um, I know a lot of you guys are following us because we're live in Okinawa so you get to see Okinawa and obviously that's not gonna go away but while we're traveling and stuff would you guys be interested in seeing you know, basically going on an adventure with us. Like, yeah, that's actually somebody, like, what if we decide to hike Mount Fuji? Yeah, see, that would be cool, actually. You know, like, stuff like that. I don't know how the service is on Mount Fuji, but... <laughs> that's true. We might have to take, like, a satellite with us. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Already a hard hike. We'll have a satellite strapped to our backpack. <laughs> But, you know, like there's so many places to see in the world outside of Okinawa. So we were thinking eventually kind of switching it up to more than just Okinawa. We want to share with you guys our journeys and our adventures, which is why we do this every Sunday. But there's a little bit of worry in us of like how many people will be interested once we're not in Okinawa anymore. I think we keep growing. I think there's a lot of, I mean, see, I don't really have, 
obviously we'll travel to other countries and stuff, but I like living in Japan, yeah. you know? So even if we moved at some point, and it probably wouldn't be anytime soon, like it'd be years. I think, uh, I don't know if I'd move away from Okinawa, but I would definitely get a different house somewhere. Mm. You know? I think it'll be fun. But yeah, we were thinking about... And I'm, I'm trying to read the comments, but it's just not working on Kit's phone. So we were, we've been struggling a little bit with live in Okinawa because number one is the time slot. Uh, 11 was just, it was just too hard for us. I don't like waking up at 11, but it's just right now with current, uh, it's just a better time. Now I can't even find the page. <laughs> um, so we were, we were kind of getting, it was kind of getting hard for us. We're getting a little down and stuff because we feel like it wasn't going the way we wanted it to go. So we were like, okay, well, how can we improve this? Um, and then we started thinking about ideas. So I'm much more awake now than I was last week. <laughs> I'm like mm -hmm. more excited to go out and do things. I don't even know how to turn off this phone. Okay, I'm going to hold the phone for a second. I'm going to see if I can... I'm having a hard time with the comments, guys, so sorry I can't. I can see them on the phone that I'm recording with, but holding the phone sideways, you can only read, like, one at a time. That's actually one of the... And I'm just way behind. I really don't like Facebook for that. Yeah. We can... We can make a whole series on how much... <laughs> we don't like Facebook. I kind of wish we started on YouTube. <laughs> there is, well, the, I mean, the good things about Facebook is the community. Like, yeah, you could build really a build a community and a lot of people are on it. But, it's a powerful platform, but it is laid out horribly. Agreed. So, I'm going back, reading your comments, literally one at a time because I can only see one at a time and it's not working on Kit's phone. A lot of you might be having the same issue. I'm just watching it on Kit's phone and the comments are just not updating. So, getting through, um, okay, I'm way, way behind. <laughs> Yeah, I talked for a while. I don't even know what this is. You can clear them. Alright, catching up. Mount Fuji. Yes, we're there. Ray says comments always seem to be iffy. My mom's from Okinawa and we live in Kansas, so difficult to get in touch with our family. Family members in Yomitan, we keep in touch with the one family members via landline. Oh, yeah. Yeah, Facebook is great for that. Keeping in touch. Although I guess all the other platforms can do that too. Cool, they'd follow us. Okay, I'm gonna put you guys back down. I'm gonna keep trying Kit's phone. I restarted you know, first, it. I Matt, Matt the other day found something really cool. Um, uh, I if, did. Yeah, if you guys uh, if you guys are doing calling landlines, um, well, I don't know if it works from the states to like Japan, but from Japan to the states it does. You could get Skype, uh, the Skype app, and for three ninety nine a month you get unlimited landline calls. Which is really cool because Matt um, Matt got it, mm -hmm. so we we used it for on New Year's for I called my grandparents back in Idaho and I had my parent my mom talk to her them because she missed them so much I kind of surprised them and she was able to just talk to them unlimited through Skype for three ninety nine a month I don't know if it works oppositely like from the states to Okinawa but if you're in Japan and you want to call your family landline. Three ninety nine a month with Skype app is actually a pretty good deal. Yeah, 
unlimited landline calls, so that's awesome. If you ever know the process to buy a home overseas, please share, since I would love it's to fun. plan to do in Okinawa or mainland if I retire. Funnily enough, I actually have a YouTube video talking about that. You do? I do. Yeah. Um, it's, it's on one of my segments, things you don't want to know, but I'll tell you anyways. Um, Joe or Ray might be able to pull it up, because <laughs> I can't right now. But I have a YouTube video, because one of my commenters asked the same question. And I did a little bit of research on it, and then I, I talked about it in, as one of the, answering as one of the questions on that segment. So um, maybe Ray or Joe could link that video. I'd love to see other islands of Okinawa. Me too. Yeah, that would be actually really cool. Obviously, like all of this is once everything settles down and all the borders open them, because right now we can't even go to Miyako. Miyako's completely shut down their borders. So, but yeah, this is just a hypothetical in the future thing. So many hearts. Having a family now not being able to travel as much, it would be awesome to see other places. It's like really, uh, all the police officers around. Oh yeah? Oliver th thinks it's freezing too. <laughs> oh hey Sean. Sean's here. No worries Joe, I was just wondering. It's cool, it's cool. about it Joe you're fine you're fine <laughs> stay comfortable I was just wondering if you had you were it was easy for you to do no worries oh yeah Joe I'm in my phone and the Facebook commenting stream setup is atrocious yeah got that right okay. I do have it set up but it was by far the hardest one <laughs> Some of you guys recognize this area. I'm sure you do. Um, this is that. Ooh, that person's car was super decked out with glitter. Oh, interesting. Dana says to buy a home in Japan, you must be a citizen and have a loan payment. Non-citizens just pay in full. Yeah. So there's like this big misconception that you have to be a resident of Japan to buy. You actually are a citizen. You have to. Okay. Sorry, let me rephrase that. There is a big misconception that says citizens are the only people that can buy properties here in Japan. And that is false. Um, Non-residents can do the same. And according to a lot of the websites that I read for people buying properties in Japan, it's actually not as difficult as people make it out to be. The only thing is buying, if you're, if you're willing to pay money, people will sell you property and let you build. But the problem is, if you're going to do the loan process, most Japanese banks are very like particular about loaning to foreigners or people who are not residents, obviously because like if you're not a resident and they loan you money, mm -hmm. you know, you could just take off and do all that kind of stuff. So they make it very difficult and most banks will not loan to non-residents. So if you're going to build buy land and build a house here most likely you're going to want to do it all in cash is what I've been reading but if you have the cash to buy a land and build a house it's actually not that difficult it's just the getting the loan process which everybody struggles with so I talk like I said I talk about it a lot more in my segment I go a little bit more into detail but that's kind of like the gist of it so we're coming up on that main Kadena turn right or uh, American Village. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna go right though, because we're gonna go around the base. Oh, okay. There's Coco's. I had that yesterday for my birthday. That's Izakaya on the left. Yeah, we live near a ton of Izakayas. Yeah, <laughs> behind our house is an Izakaya. 
in our building is an izakaya. That's true. <laughs> yeah, there's, we basically live on Pub Street. Yeah. I mean, our building's mostly apartments, but we live on top of an izakaya. Behind one, on one, <laughs> on in one, front of one, around one, next Under, to one, <laughs> underneath one, in one. <laughs> I really want to go to the izakaya behind us. I want to try it out. It always smells really good in there. The problem is I don't drink though, so the food has to be really good and cheap for me to like warrant going since I don't drink. I remember seeing an ad about a guy in Okinawa who had a whole system set up to buy and build homes in Okinawa for foreigners, mostly to Americans. It's not impossible. I'm definitely gonna be looking into that process, but I'm a Japanese citizen, so it'll be easier for me. So, let's show you there's a American village over there. Yeah, it's a really nice day. It's been cold and windy and overcast and rainy. It's still cold, but the sun's out. And Izakaya is like a pub. Japanese pub. That's yeah. the best way to describe it. It's not a bar. It's more of a pub. Yeah, they have good food and stuff there. Mm -hmm. Too. Kind of sit around. I mean, obviously, Chat. the main thing is you get together with your friends and drink, but there's food, and kids can go. They have, like, sometimes people have hold parties at izakayas. So it's pretty much a pub. I haven't been able to visit my family in Oki for over a year, so it's nice to feel like I'm driving around with you guys. <laughs> Cool. I'm glad you were able to join us. Is it still windy? Yes. Uh, yeah, today isn't so bad. But... I guess, yeah, comparatively it has not as bad today, but it's it's been cold and windy for sure. Cheap food. It's easy $100 here, Ray says. In Hawaii. I, I was surprised. Uh, Hawaii has donkey. Mm -hmm. I didn't know they had donkey out there. In, uh... Yeah. I guess they have a family mart too. So Hawaii is like nice. It's got a mixture of Japanese stuff with uh, American stuff. They have a Taco Bell with a Baja Blast. That is true. They're winning. <laughs> <laughs> Hawaii would be cool, but, uh, I don't know, what's cool about this is, like, Hawaii is America's, like, tropical paradise, you know, and Okinawa is, like, Japan's, except the difference is Hawaii is one of America's most expensive places to live, and Okinawa is the cheapest for Japan, yeah. so it's pretty cool. No Family Mart, two Lawson's in Waikiki. Yeah. Ray, uh, Ray sent me a picture of the prices though. Once. Yeah, I know they're kind of a like, lot. Wow, that is a lot for an onigiri. Oh, I finished my milk tea. We can go take a look at the ocean real quick. It's a nice day. Sure. Let's go see the ocean. If you guys, you know, we're in that middle section, we're on 58 right now. The right is the flight line. It's going to be the flight line for a while. And then the left is the, the weird mounds. The secret military bunkers that are hidden with weirdly shaped grass. Weirdly shaped grass? Yeah. Clearly 
it's not covering anything. <laughs> Clearly there's nothing there. <laughs> yeah, it's just a perfectly shaped hill. Just kidding. I guess... There's a door in the side. <laughs> citizens get a loan and buy a property then defaults and leaves it seems like the bank could still foreclose and take the property it's not like someone could run away with the property no but they can run away yeah Funny. Lawson's in Hawaii here aren't the same yeah I'd imagine they're more like a regular like 7-eleven type thing right Yeah, Kadena Marina is up here, and Kadena Circle. Not, a, not quite a circle anymore. It used to be. It used to be a roundabout. Hmm. Is this Route 58? Yes. This is 58. The restaurant changed two years ago. It's not Italian anymore. Says. Mm. Where is the farmer's market? It's over by Chibana. Oh, by Chibana? Yeah, I just figured I'll uh, go around. Because we can get to the farmer's market in like 10 minutes from our house, but I didn't want her very live to just be 10 minutes. Do you see a lot of military aircraft? Yes. Yes. We hear them too. They're all over. Every time I try to record a video, they're like flying right above me. I'm like, I, you weren't flying 10 minutes ago. <laughs> but as soon as I hit the start button, they're like, <laughs> 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 so annoying. Going to Naval Kadena? No. Naval Kadena doesn't have as much anymore. It used to be a hopping spot. I could believe that, Ray. They have a shaky. Hawaii's 7 Eleven beats the mainland ones, but not even close to Japan. Yeah. Like the mainland state? Yeah, state. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, they're like nothing. In... Yeah. The only cool gas stations in America is Mavericks. <laughs> oh, yeah. I love Kid Mavericks. Kid really likes Mavericks. I'm like a Maverick fan. Mavericks is like on the northern, northwest, northwest coast of. And they're the best gas station. They're probably akin to like a Tim Hortons. Hey, Cynthia's here. Cynthia. She's late, but she's here. And I'm like, we're, we're a lot later. You know what? But you guys are here. Better so it late. seems to be working okay Better this time. Than never. They used to have a Toys R Us at Naval Kadena 20 some years ago. Yeah, yeah they, they uh, don't have them anymore. The only Toys R Us that I know of on the island is at Rycom Mall. Mm hmm. They do have a Toys R Us. That's pretty cool. If you go to the East Coast, you'll love Wawa. Oh, I've heard of Wawa. Wawa rocks. Ma I don't, is it as good as Mavericks, though? <laughs> <laughs> I love my Mavericks. The only reason I really like Mavericks is because my dad and I have really good mem memories with Mavericks. He lived in Idaho. And every, until, every time... Uh, Every time I'd go visit him in Idaho or any time we'd go fishing, we'd always stop at a Mavericks. So, Mavericks, I just have a really good, like... Which uh, seawall is this? This one is the Sunset Street seawall. Sunset Street, it says. This is uh, close to Mizudama. It's like a frogger. Some narrow roads here. Joe can only see his comments. I know. This is what I'm talking about. I'm loving this Miss Okinawa so much. I don't want to hit this lady. We'll show you the beach here. Beach. It's 
Or like a seawall? Yeah, seawall. All right, let's take a look. See oh. a wall. All right, let's go. <laughs> <laughs> There's the wall. Let's get going. Yeah, I think uh, America, I mean, all the Toys R Us closed, but I think they're coming back and they're going to change the business structure. I learned to drive stick by the seawall. Oh, that's awesome. I wish I could drive a stick on the island. I know how to drive a stick ship, but my license won't let me. Yeah, you have to have a special license here in order to drive a stick shift. Going up. Oh, wow. Ooh. I haven't been to the ocean actually in a long time. Oh, that's nice. Man, you could really hear the waves. This is one of the coolest parts of Okinawa. I mean, any tropical island, really. I'm sure Hawaii is this nice. This is, like, I'm like speechless. I'm gonna show you guys this again. American Village, we're on, this is the East China Sea side, yes? So, China's that way. That is, um, I don't know if you can see them, there's islands out there. That's another island of Okinawa. This is so nice when everyone else is uh, taking some fast pictures. I mean, we've been freezing here as well, but ah, uh, I can feel the water. This would make me jealous. <laughs> if I was in like the snow right now. Oh, really? Yeah, because this is really pretty. Like, I haven't seen the ocean in a long time. I know, we just never go to the ocean. And when I say a long time, I guess it's not that long because California I wouldn't go for like maybe once a year. <laughs> Here it's been like a few months, but I feel like it's been a long time. Oh, that's right. Matt ASMR. Take a little walk here. Yeah, Ray, us too, once a year. Kadena is over there, and then American Village is over there. Naha is down there, 
And that's, is that the Tsunabe seawall? Tsunabe? Oh, what, which one's this? Because this is a known one too, right? Mizugama. I'll climb up here too. I've been away much too long. Love hearing the ocean waves miss the sights of Okinawa. Drove to Carolina Beach. <laughs> Purchase four wheel drive beach pass. Can't wait. Has the island ever have a tsunami? Um, I don't think a tsunami has happened in like recent years. It's been a long time. But uh, typhoons are all the time. Couple. But because Okinawa is really prepared for typhoons, since they get them pretty much every year, uh, there's not really any destruction. I mean, if they're bad enough, cars and stuff can flip over. But as you can see, every building is made out of cement and steel. Pretty much how they build skyscrapers. So, and they're just small buildings. All right, you ready? That was cool, actually. I'm really glad that uh, there's... I don't know, I'm glad we came here. Yeah, it looks really pretty. Yeah, typhoons and, and tsunamis aren't really too bad here. Well, tsunamis. So, yeah, tsunamis, be. like... We haven't had one. Yeah, I know. But, well, that's what I was saying, is like, it's been a long time. I mean, that would be devastating, but it still, it wouldn't be like mainland where it washes away the homes and stuff because of the way they're built. I don't know. The homes would stay. It would do a lot of damage though. It would do a lot of damage for sure, but they're no, not. It's, but I think it depends on how big it would be. Mm -hmm. We are blessed in the fact that uh, we don't live on an, like a, we don't live on a like a big fault line like Japan. Yeah, Okinawa is. Uh, I guess it's pretty protected because of its location. I guess a lot of because uh, a lot of the strong winds or something like come down from Korea or something. I don't remember exactly how it works, but we're like locked in from the big stuff. Do you have your phone? Yeah, but it's only got 10%. Oh. That's alright. Can I kill it? No. I have a list of groceries I want to... Oh. I want to I have watched videos of one that washed everything away, so heartbreaking. Yeah. Yeah, that one in Japan in 2011 is uh has a lot of footage and it's it is really devastating i'll never forget this one image there's this uh, really famous image actually of just like the tsunami coming in and there's this k car doing a u-turn it just disappears and then he tries to like get go as fast as he could but eventually gets just swept away mm. and it's just like so sad to me just like the last moments what they might have been thinking. There's a really good documentary on YouTube 
of the Fukushima uh, reactor during the tsunamis back in 2000. Oh yeah, that was a really good documentary that actually. That was a really fantastic documentary. I might have to link that on our YouTube, or, or not our YouTube, but... What's this wall called? This is a Mizugama. Mizugama. I know mean, you've said that three times, but this is a pretty old and well-known area in Okinawa. My dad and I used to go fishing here. Yeah, it's, it's pretty much looked like this, like, for a long time, right? Nothing has changed. I mean, this looks exactly like it did when I was a kid. Yeah, this is really nice. The one in Phuket was devastating. Oh, wow. When was that? Croatia just had a pretty big uh, earthquake as well. Yeah, the Phuket one, that was um, much more recently, right? And then there was that <laughs> one in, was it Bali or Indonesia? Oh, 1932 was the last tsunami to hit Okinawa. Yeah, it's it's been a while. Yeah. Okinawa just, we, we're kind of, like I said, blessed location-wise. Not that it can't happen, but... <coughs> no, it definitely can, but yeah. we're not as, we're not in as active of a fault line as uh, mainland Japan. This is really pretty. See, I'm, I I'm get, looking through the camera and it looks gorgeous. I want to get a sup board and just kind of like sup this up and down. Oh, yeah. And then when you, like, paddle past people, you can be like, sup. <laughs> yeah. Ha-ha-ha-ha-ha-ha. <laughs> <laughs> sup stands for stand-up paddle board, if you guys don't know. They call them sup boards. Or a kayak would be nice, too. Okinawa is really pretty. Sup. Sup, Sean. Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's got their laundry out because it's like the first day where it's not. You know, I think uh, because it's later in the day now too, mm. it's actually, it looks a lot nicer. I don't know. It's just, I don't know. This, the lighting is just right. Well, I think Maybe it's because it's been overcast all week. I think too, it's more So it's just that. looking really nice. Yeah, I think it's more of that than anything. Yeah. This is a little more nostalgia for me, too. Because uh, every time I've been here in the past since we've been coming, mm -hmm. the last 10 years or whatever, 8 years, mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> we always stay up super late. And then always wake up super late. I think when I was a kid I liked it, but now that I'm an adult I actually would like to start my day early. Yeah. I miss going to like the arcades and stuff at night and manga soko and all yeah. that. I miss but round that, one. That's more because of uh, so the big. pandemic. Yeah. We're not doing that. Phuket? Oh yeah, 2004. Never mind. I thought that was more recent. Yeah, because Japan was 2011. Yeah, the 10 year anniversary is coming up. I feel like I'm in Okinawa now. It's so great. Yeah, there are inflatable set boards. Yeah, I'm thinking about getting those. Or like, in those. Because uh, we, we, we live in an apartment, so we don't have like a big place to put stuff. You know, we have a good amount of people watching us for it being so late for a lot of people. So thank you guys for watching. We could test out different time slots too. Cause there's some like, I know people won't have been asking us to do gate two walkthroughs at night and on the weekends, but it's like, we start at 11. So we might have to try different time zones. Cause I've been wanting to do that botanical garden illumination but yeah there's a lot of cool night things uh to do but if we did a live video at night for most of america it'd be like four to eight a.m <laughs> somewhere around there yeah so i don't think many people would be around 
But we also, I also get, every once in a while, I get messages from people in European time who are like, man, I, I never get to catch you guys because you guys are like, we're, oh, really? uh, we're asleep when you guys are uh, doing your live. Like, uh. Maybe we should try some night ones too. Yeah. 9.04 p.m. on the West Coast. Yeah, the West Coast isn't too bad. It, it was yeah, more the East, East Coast, Coast we were worried about. about. Yeah, because New York would be what, 9? 10, 11, 12. Yeah, 12. And yeah. then when you guys spring forward in the springtime, yeah. this will be 10 o'clock right now. Yeah, we're in the fall back right now, so get an extra hour. Oh, yeah, Ray. Ray, you're like, you're like in the perfect time zone for us. <laughs> yeah, Ray's like... He's just not too far off. What are you doing, sir? And then everyone watching that's in Okinawa, which I don't think is that many people, actually. Sometimes we do have some people that watch us that are here already, but... You know, these videos probably wouldn't appeal to them <laughs> as much since they're just here. <laughs> Joe used to watch. Yeah. 12.04 a.m. here in Indiana. Yeah. Is that a good time for you, Susan? Are you up at this time normally? Yeah, after midnight. Yeah, we're trying to find that sweet spot. Oh yeah, great if you guys drive at night in American Village. Yeah, American Village is pretty well lit up too. It might be, those might just be one of those things that if we're there, we'll just do. Jimmy's on the left. Yeah. You guys were my COVID escape when I was there. Oh yeah. Yeah, you got, you were kind of stuck in a rock and a hard place. Because you were leaving and you wanted to experience all these things, but you had COVID restrictions. Susan's a night owl too. That's good. Works for us. <laughs> I used to live on Kadena, went to Kubasaki High School on 78, 908 in Oregon. I don't know if you can see it, but there's like a slight rainbow. A slight rainbow? Yeah, there's some, there's a prism. Oh yeah, there's very a, thin. Yeah, there's a prism in the it, sky. It's in the picture, but I don't think you guys can see it, because I can barely see it. Yeah. Like, I really have to look hard at it. It's like disappearing, too. I'm, I was actually like kind of thinking about that the other day, say, and I was like, you know, do I really, I actually kind of like the new one because I don't like roundabouts. I hate roundabouts. I think they're super dangerous. So, I, it's not a circle anymore though, that's for sure. They should rename it to the Kadena Squiggle. Squiggle? <laughs> Kadena, Kadena Squiggle. <laughs> My family was there in Okinawa about 50 years ago. Oh, geez. Lots changed since then. 50 years, that's 1970? Dang, I feel... When you say 50 years ago, that sounds like it's a long time ago, but now that I'm getting old, 1970 doesn't sound like a long time ago. We're 1930, we're, we're, cause we were 30 years ago. So, the 80s was yeah. 30 years ago. It just doesn't seem like the 70s would be 50 years ago, you know what I mean? We're close to 40, actually. Actually, it was more like 40 years ago. What? The 80s, cause 80s, you know, people who are in, born in 19. Saying. You're just calculating it. In my head, yeah. Okay. I'm having calculations. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I have my alarm set to make sure I'm up to follow along with you guys. Oh, that's nice, Cynthia. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what area are we in? Where? Uh... Oh, okay, so we just passed Kadena, uh, Kadena Rotary, and we're heading towards Chibana right now. So this is we're just following the Kadena Gate or Kadena. And we're about to hit gate three. I forgot what street this is. 
like route number. 12.05 a.m. here, D.C. area. Can you please swing by Sunabe, Chetan Cho, where the single houses are? We used to live there. I want to see how it looks now. We are we that. near there? No, we, we passed. We're like, that's like the opposite direction. Uh, but we could do that next live, maybe. Okay. That's uh, Camille's mom. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. That's right, you guys did live that way, huh? The original Obrigados restaurant was inside Cadena Circle. They, ha they, s they moved it a few times. They have one. They have it still close to the Cadena Circle area. Oh no, the rain's coming back. It was such a nice day. I mean, I like the rain, but I'm, real I'm like hanging my clothes right now. Luckily, our patio doesn't get wet that easily where we hang our clothes. So. Now a little bit of rain. Left in 78, I'm assuming landmarks have changed. I don't know. A lot has changed. Maybe some of them. Some of them might still be around if they're nature. Okinawa is definitely a lot different than it was. Michi no Eki's cheeseburger, super delicious. You know what? You're like the 400th person to say that, and I've never tried it. The Kadena Circle Michi no Eki hamburger is apparently really good. I should go try that. Maybe I'll do that. For We're gonna have to do a video. Best hamburger in Okinawa, 2021 edition. I did a few videos on that. It's still Captain Kangaroo. So they said people said that there is a different. Um, what was the other one we tried? Gordy's. The mm -hmm. one we tried is the newer one. Apparently, and it's not as good. Yeah, they said the older one, which is on 58, is better. So maybe we should try that. Oh, Ray says FYI, fried popcorn, air fried popcorn shrimp, fish sticks in the air fryer now. It's good. Air fryer needs to sponsor me. <laughs> <laughs> No, I've, I'm like obsessed. I'm thinking about cooking just strict air fryer tonight. I'm gonna make some veggies and some other stuff. I don't know. As soon as Oki opens up, I'm on the first flight out of here. <laughs> first plane out of here. <laughs> that would be fun. We might not be here though, because as soon as the world opens up, <laughs> we're going somewhere. <laughs> Oh yeah, that's true. Yeah. We might just miss you. Cause we when we we were uh, when we first got here, on on our way here we stopped in Taiwan. We had like a 14 hour layover, so we went into Taipei. It was amazing. It was so much fun. And then we were talking about coming back in like a month or two, but then we couldn't because Corona hit. Show it in every YouTube video like Jake and you might get something. <laughs> oh, the air fryer. Yeah. If I'm gonna get if I'm gonna get sponsored by something, there's a few few people I would like to get sponsored by. Uh, Suzuki. Because <laughs> I love their cars. Oh yeah, we're starting to really like Suzuki. Uh, probably the Panasonic Panasonic, because I love their GH5. Yeah, um, although the Sony's are supposed to be amazing. Well, uh, we've used them before. The only downside to me is the flip-out screen. Yeah. I feel like that's Especially a as must a of, with a vlogger, yeah. Um, I think Taco Bell, the Taco Bell won't sponsor me since I'm here. But Coco's, Curry, I'm down for getting sponsored by Coco's. Mm -hmm. Is this guy going slow or is it just me? Uh, he's going super slow. He's going like 40 and a 50. Maybe. And everyone else going 60 and a 50, so. Yeah. <laughs> We have one guy that's creeping around like a freaking shrimp, and the other 
guy. Uh, everyone else is speeding past us and speeding as well. Is the, uh... What is the seatbelt law here? Everyone needs to be on the seatbelt. They, it, I remember you saying something like the back seats didn't need it or something. Uh, it used to be, but now everybody does. Oh, okay. The driver can get in trouble if the back seat people don't have seatbelts on. I see. Oh yeah, he's on island speed. That's okay, everyone can visualize see the Barron Road. Kadena on the right, Kadena yeah. on the left. So gate three right here is that, this is the intersection for Chibana. Left will take you to Camp Shields. Right will take you to gate three. We're going left, but the Kurashiki Dam and Southeast Botanical Gardens are gonna be on our left. Oh darn, I didn't get the notification that you guys are on. I thought you took the day off. No, oh no. I'm sorry. No, no, no. We didn't take the day off. I actually posted on our page that saying that we were going to start at a later time. Just giving you guys a heads up. Um, 1, 1 p.m. in Okinawa is probably going to be more of a normal occurrence. I think, yeah, we're going to we're gonna mix this up a bit. Do some changes to live in Oki. Yeah. We're not exactly sure yet, but... One thing we're already really liking is the later start time. Once it's we just can, so much easier Once for we us. can quit our jobs and have like an earlier sleep time so we can get up earlier, then the 11 o'clock wouldn't be an issue. Chibana's on the right, by the way. Chibana. Chibana family housing. And look at that, an American walking his giant dog. Oh, he's carrying uh, his own toy. I love when dogs do that. We gotta teach Buddy to do that. Oh, Buddy wouldn't do that. Carry your own Buddy's toy. too posh for that. Yep, Joe, the dam where Matt and I saw each other the first time in person. COVID just started and he waved from afar. Yeah, I remember that. Okay, Shields is right on the left here. Here's Camp Shields. Thanks, Ray. Thanks, Ray. <laughs> I am trying. Both of us are really close to a thousand. Matt's yeah. actually closer. He's probably like a hundred something away from hitting a thousand subscribers on his channel. I haven't been keeping track. I have a little bit more. I think I have three hundred, maybe or so, that I still need to get to hit a thousand. But that's, yeah. that would be cool to hit that this year. Thank you, Ray, for the shout out. Yeah, just so everyone knows, uh, you can start monetizing your YouTube channel once you have a thousand subscribers and forty thousand watch hours in the last twelve months. And we both have forty thousand watch hours. We just yeah, need the thousand subscribers now. I knew as a vlogger, though, I would it would take a while for me to gain subscribers. So I'm not really that stressed about it. I would say when you see ads on our YouTube videos, you know we made it. But now YouTube is showing ads on every YouTube video, yeah, regardless so if they're paying the yeah. YouTuber. Yeah. That's so kinda you might be seeing ads. Well, I don't think that's in effect yet. Maybe the next couple months. It's kind of sucky. But yeah. That's such a. That's just a greedy move from YouTube. It is, and I'm actually kind of surprised that they haven't done it. Time ago. 
Oh, this is where I need to be. Okay, so we're going over here. This is the market. This is the Champuru Ichiba. Champuru Market. Ah. I've always wanted to come here. Never did. But it's supposed to be like a really good farmer's market. Everybody always talks about their prices and how cheap they are. And I like veggies and I like cheap veggies, so I'm good. I still have to go to Sane a little later, but... I'm with you, Joe. We're on YouTube Premium as well. Yeah. People always talk about not liking, like, Premium, but I'm like, Premium's great if you watch a lot of YouTube. Well, we use YouTube a lot. Yeah. We, we definitely use YouTube a lot. Oh, Tajan's homemade empanadas. That sounds super delicious. I love that market. Your name sounds so familiar when you were in Oki. Our name? Oh, Zakimi? There's a castle. Yeah, there's a Zakimi castle and there's a Zakimi city. And Kit's ancestors apparently owned it and then got taken over. This guy's struggling to park back there. Here's our YouTube channels, by the way. There we go. If you want to subscribe. Um, this is your big one. The masks? Oh, Pat O'Leary. Oh, Pat O'Leary. Wow, look at that. My hair is kind of messed up. Ooh, hello. O'Leary is... There's Kevin O'Leary from Shark Tank. Oh, he's got a family plan. He's like in the hip. That's right, you get paid for watching my videos, don't you, Joe? Yeah. <laughs> oh, these masks are Oh, yeah, if you it's have a... Uh, I know we had it for our business. If you have six or more... Um, paying $10 a month, basically $60 a month, you get unlimited storage on Google Drive. So I got you a bigger version. We did it on our... Uh, Oh, this is interesting. This is on the outside. Strings. Yes, yeah. It's like weird. Hmm. Wow, this is a big mask. I could feel it. Yeah, I got you a, like an, it says bigger size, so I got you a bigger size. All right, let's go to this market. It's more like the face is bigger. That's what it means, yeah. They made, this is the bigger size. I know, the strings are still kind of pulling, but. <laughs> You should get one of those things that, um, I don't know how yeah, nurses really, and doctors. That's hard. I don't that know. That hurts. I don't know how nurses and doctors do wear this for like 13, 14 hours a day. Uh, actually I was watching Dr. Mike. He says, at least now they have custom made to fit themselves perfectly. Oh, that's perfectly. awesome. Because well, they wear like, them all day. I don't think like every doctor's. Probably not all of them, but his, his, uh, office, his hospital has custom made long use masks they like fit to your face forming more protection and then also uh they don't go around the ears they go here looks like a diaper feels like a diaper yeah it kind of does i'm not a huge fan of masks i'm sure no one really is but it's the life we live what the herd all right, let's do this. Yeah, get one that ties behind the head. I agree. I'm actually like super excited right now. Are you? Yeah, I'm like super excited right now. It's a lot of vending machines. I'm like wanting a drink now. Okay. This is a farmer's market? Wait, we haven't been here? No, oh, this just looks like uh, that other store. Uh, the one in Uduma. Udu, 
Yeah. Yeah, that's a farmer's market too. Oh, okay. This is like a less fancy one? Older one? We used to go there first before the commissary to get produce. Are they? Onions, 98 yen. Potatoes. Now, potatoes are a lot here. It's $1.39. This is what you get. Two potatoes. It's like $1.39 for a five pound bag in America. <laughs> It's in the car. Should I go outside? Right. Oh, potatoes are four dollars on sale for a five pound bag. Yeah, I remember them being very cheap. Going back out. Oh, they take card? That's good to know. I'm just gonna look around this area here. Let's see. Everything is grown locally. So they're building a big building there. There's a park across the street too. Oh, is everything grown locally? I don't know. Probably n not everything? I'm not sure. There's the military planes. Sometimes that park has a plant market. Really? Huh. So that's the farmer's market. Why did you go out? I don't know. I just didn't know if uh, <laughs> if you guys wanted to see grocery shopping I guess we can go back in all right we're going So here's the prices. No, I was gonna get cash in case. I'll only get cash if she needs it. <laughs> At least they have English on these brown mushrooms. Makut. My taki says hoku to.
Oh, here's rice machines. That's cool. I've never seen one, actually. They're like making the bags with those machines. Hot Thai chili vinegar sauce. The mill, the rice to the specific amount you want. Yeah, they have a lot of like fruits, fruits and vegetables. Actually, this is most Asian countries, but there's a lot of fruits and vegetables that you just don't see in America. I guess unless you go to a Asian market. That's wasabi greens. Okinawa spinach. Yeah, Kit mostly cooks. I'll cook every once in a while. I think uh, lately she's been enjoying cooking a lot because we have our own kitchen. <laughs> so she's been cooking a lot. Are they? I'm surprised. How good they are. Mm. Where's the Felix gum? Oh yeah, they have these. Those burgers actually look really good. Hmm. Are you hungry? You want to get a bento? These are all 50% off? So that's a dollar fifty. Yeah. Wow. That this is two dollars. Look at this. That's two dollars for that bento, because fifty percent off of four dollars, four hundred yen. That is really cheap. Wow. Now I'm trying to decide which one I want. Yeah, I want one of these. Like, I don't know if I'm going to eat all this, but are they fresh? I mean, they make them here. But it these probably... these might be 50% off because they're not fresh. Well, they probably have been sitting there for a little bit. They're, they're probably from this morning, though. No, they're probably made this morning, but because it's been a few hours, 
Yeah, yeah, because it's like 2 o'clock now or something. So. But even normally, like $4 for that is pretty cheap. Yeah. Well, the sell-by date is just one ten. It's just today's date. So. And they have these burgers. Kind of want a burger. I think I'm going to try this burger, even though it's not 50% off. Oh, the sign says eat right away. Oh. Are you? Oh, Paul ordered Felix gum recently, but they were $19 a box. The curry was three eighty nine, half off, three hundred eighty nine yen, I and mean then half off, so like two dollars, like one ninety. Oh, by the way, this is. Yeah, that's what Joe was saying. By the way, guys, if you don't know, this is very common in a Japanese grocery store where. Uh, you come and check out, and then instead of them taking the money, it's like half self-checkout. So they'll ring up everything, and then just send you to one of these numbers where you pay. It's like a pay station. Which I thought was an interesting idea. It's like half checkout and half regular. So there's pay stations everywhere. Did your coin get stuck? Yeah. Coin's got stuck. I'm in Vancouver. Nice. You like it, huh? And then they have a bagging section. Every grocery store has this as well. They check you out, they send you to a pay station, and then you come over here and you bag your own items. And there is certain registers that they'll bag it for you. It'll say on the register. I think in this particular case, it's probably that last one. Yeah, that's great. They don't have to touch the money. Yes, that's actually, uh, I think that's why they're new, right? Are they new or no? The pay stations? Yeah, I don't know if it's a new concept, but it's definitely far more common just this year. So it is really smart. The one in Yomitan is the same, but has wider aisles. Yomitan's a lot farther, though. Near Houston, Texas. You want to try our food? Eat our food? Yeah, let's go out front and sit down. Oh, they have pastries. That's nice. <laughs> they put a spray thing on it. Got it. That's alcohol. Wanna sit here? Try these burgers. How do you wanna prop this? 
basket. Yeah. Flip you here. We're gonna try these. <laughs> Sorry, we're just taking you out for uh, chores. <laughs> but I needed food and veggies and stuff. All right, let's try this. I'm gonna try their non half off burger. I got their half off. Uh... It's funny, I'm not. I didn't get a burger because I'm American. I almost never get the American things. Their burgers here are decent. It's a bacon burger? I just felt like a burger, I guess. I'm I think maybe because we were talking about burgers. Maybe. So this was Ooh, so three fifty. Here, let me show you guys what I got. So this is it looks like my mom like a homemade lunchbox. Like, it's not that manufactured stuff at Family Mart, but it's got sausages. I think this is miso paste. Ready for the burger reveal? Hold on. <laughs> this is eggs, a carrot thing, and a vegetable mix, and then here's a burger reveal. Look at that. <laughs> Amazing. Yes, it's you couldn't a, see it through the, It's through a the burger. <laughs> That's awesome. All right, let's give this a try. Pokemon. It's still pretty cold out here. Oh, this has a... Uh, it's basically a regular cheeseburger, except it has a piece of Canadian bacon on it. Everything else is the same. Lettuce, ketchup, burger, cheese. That's everything. It's really good. Oh, it's a meatball. Mmm, that meatball's so good. It's a good meatball. <laughs> I like this meatball. That's really good. The burger is not warm. Yeah, it's a little cold. Mm. Hi, Le hi, Val. So the burger was three dollars and fifty cents, not discounted. That was only like a dollar fifty, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Yeah. So this is normally three dollars. What Kit got? And it was half off, so. Mm. Mm. This is good. I love it. Mm. Probably should have gotten a drink. It's a good burger. Okinawa soba would have probably been nice too, because it's even at three dollars, that's cheap. Yeah. This burger is not winning any awards. It's not in the lineup for best burger in Okinawa. But they probably do have microwaves, but uh, cold food doesn't really bother me. <laughs> I'm a weirdo. That's true. Yeah, it is really cheap. This egg. Like, it's a very, you know, Japan's supposed to be an expensive country, but when you're coming from the most expensive place in the United States, which is Bay Area, California, very often San Francisco, San Jose compete for the most expensive place. Everything is cheap. Although I will admit the food is cheap. The food's pretty cheap no matter where you are from in California. Because food prices are pretty pretty leveled out from what I've seen. Even when you're in Idaho and stuff, it's it is a little cheaper, but it's not like a huge difference. Yeah, anything when you're coming from California, anything's cheaper though. Especially Southeast Asia. Remember our friend, he's always like, I get sticker shock when mm. I go back to California. It's 43 degrees in Vancouver. We were talking about this earlier. It was 45 degrees in Okinawa these last few days. It's been cold. That is freezing. You're in Vancouver, Canada. 
We're on a tropical island. <laughs> we should not be hitting 45 degrees. <laughs> yeah, and that's how full it's been. Eating with Kit and Matt, we're never tired of that. <laughs> I feel like the older I get, the less I want to eat. Do you ever get that? Food is cheap in California? Surely restaurants are not. No, that's exactly what I'm saying. Food is not cheap in California. <laughs> I'm saying compared to the rest of America, it's not like, I don't think the food is like a huge jump. I don't know. I mean, we're comparing I guess it. restaurants. But... No, no. Restaurants would definitely be. Yeah. We were comparing Arby's. Yeah. Fast food is the same price <laughs> globally. Not globally. Uh, internationally. No, not internationally. Nationally. You're talking well, it's about not quite the same. It's not quite the same, but it's pretty close. That burger would be 18 to $22 in San Francisco. You're not wrong, Paul. You are not wrong. I mean, this is a grocery store burger, so maybe like 15, but you are, I mean, you're the one that's from there, so. Yeah, you're not wrong. <laughs> when, they're, when, they're, when they're paying people in San Francisco $20 an hour at an In-N-Out burger. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Oh my gosh, I'm so excited right now. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. 49 in San Jose. 37 in Maryland. Wow. Yeah, it's been cold. This is a cold winter. Yeah, it has been. Mm -hmm. yeah, the places that are supposed to be cold aren't really cold, though. You know what I mean? Like, my, our friend Tyler lives in Ohio. He says it's not that cold there. He's barely getting any snow. I remember he was disappointed because he got a season pass for skiing. Mm. And I'm like, every time you get a season pass, it seems like you don't get any snow. I'm like, you're ruining it for everybody else who has a season pass, Tyler. Oh, Ray. See? That's what Okinawa should be. 73 in Hawaii. No, yeah, Okinawa gets cold in the wintertime. Because we're a subtropic island. I think Hawaii is like a real tropic island. Ohio is cold now. Well, let's rephrase that. He said it was like 30 degrees. But I guess last winter, it was like it was regularly zero. <laughs> yeah, he said it was really cold. I can't believe I just had a meal for a dollar fifty. Yeah. It's blowing my mind. Indiana's cold. It's gonna get down to thirty six tonight in Arizona. That's pretty cold. Wondering if the Vancouver temperature was in Celsius. No, he put it in Fahrenheit, I think. Okinawa gets cold January, February. Yeah, it does. Twenty-three. That's our coldest month. It's been nice and chilly in Hawaii. Semi subtropic island, isn't it? Yeah, it's a technically. It's I'm, not a full tropic island. I'm not really sure how that stuff works, but Okinawa is considered a subtropic island. I think Hawaii is an actual tropic island. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There are people who do go into the ocean in the wintertime. Not the locals, but usually like military folk who come here from like um, really cold climates. I'll tell you something. The water here in the ocean in the winter, everyone thinks it's cold. It's still warmer than the water is in the summertime in California. At least in the like, like Santa Cruz and Monterey, yeah. It is cold. Summertime, you can't. I was even get really disappointed. I remember when my dad took me when we moved to California, and my dad, I was getting homesick, and so my dad decided to take me out for a drive to the bay. <laughs> and then I saw the ocean, and I got even more depressed because it didn't look anything like Okinawa's ocean. Because <laughs> it was didn't so you start cold. Crying? Yeah, I started crying. My dad thought I was. Uh, my dad thought I was. Uh, what is it? 
impressed, not impressed, uh, touched, but I was just really sad. <laughs> that is pretty funny. I'll take you to the ocean to remind you of Okinawa. Go to the California ocean, just start crying. Like, this is ugly. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. The ocean's still really pretty in California. Yeah, it is. I think it's prettier in Oregon. Compared to a tropical yeah. island. When you're used to blue aqua. This is next level. When you're used to blue aqua ocean. Ooh, that was good. If you go to the water in Maine, you'll get ankle freeze. It's like brain freeze. <laughs> that sounds cold. That sounds cold. I feel like your ankles would just be solid, solidified into the water. <laughs> <laughs> you can get it out, but you're not getting it. You can get it in, but you can't get it out. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the ice fishing. Oh yeah. I've actually always wanted to do that. I've always wanted to go ice fishing. I've always wanted to see the, uh, what is it? The, the, the weird phenomenon that happens with the- Aurora Borealis. Yeah, Borealis. Borealis. Aurora Borealis. Oh, somebody said. Too cold to eat outside in New York. Some place has heaters. If you go into the water in Maine, Ma May says Cali is freezing water. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's so you can't do anything. <laughs> yeah, every time I go to the ocean, Cali, I don't care if it's summertime, unless it's winter a, time. It doesn't matter. Unless like, it's SoCal. Like SoCal's San a Diego. bit better. Yeah. San Diego's better. I mean, it's still not. Okinawa or Hawaii or something like that, but definitely better. Yeah. But yeah, like Santa Cruz and Monterey and stuff <laughs> like that, just freezing water. Anyways, <clears throat> we're probably gonna end the live here. We had our, we drove around. You guys came on, uh, came with me to buy groceries. I still have to go to an actual store, but what do we like most? Like, what do you guys like most like in Okinawa? My kegs are getting numb. <laughs> hmm. uh, what do you guys like most about Okinawa? What do you guys like most about Okinawa? I just like being here. <laughs> like, what does I, that mean, though? <clears throat> I mean, I like everything about it. I like the safety. I like the food. I like the people. I like the shopping. I like. I just like being here. Oh, I just did it's a video here. on this, actually. It was my thoughts on Okinawa, the good, the bad, the ugly. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed after this. After living here a year. I'm glad you enjoyed it. Good you can night. see on my YouTube channel. Anyways, thank you guys so much for uh, joining us today. We're going to go. I got to get some stuff done. Yep. Um, and good night. Now it's time. Dreams. <laughs> I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. Uh, here's our YouTube channels if you guys want to subscribe. Help us get to a thousand subscribers. <laughs> yep. We're almost there. We're almost there. But thank you. We love you guys. We'll see you in tomorrow's video. Or not tomorrow's video. <laughs> this is not my vlog. <laughs> <laughs> we'll see you. In, well, if you watch my videos, you'll see me tomorrow or today. But otherwise, we'll see you next Sunday. All right. Bye. Bye.